Hello everyone and welcome back to my devlog. So in the past week I was free from work, which also meant that I worked constantly on the game without too much of a pause and enjoyed myself a lot. So one of the first updates is that now I have um, a proper tile set. I, I, I did this in order to test the palette, but I am really happy with the results and I think this is going to stick up with the game. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. The tile set also is able to have one-way platforms and both of the sets are block tiles and that means I can procedurally place tiles and they can fit with each other properly, like having proper transitions that I already drawn. What this enabled me to do was to actually make procedurally generated levels and I played a little bit with random formulas just to you know like get the feel of how I will be able to generate the levels themselves and how they are going to look after I generate like random noises or random formulas that I just played with. Now of course, since you are in, within a gigantic alien worm, um, the generation that you just saw doesn't really fit the, the style that I'm going for, so actually how would the, the inside of a worm look like? It would be more like some random tunnels interconnecting and you'd meet random places like sphincters or hearts or other organs that are vital to the worm that you can battle with, maybe being some kind of boss battles. And the map would be somewhat of a tunnel-like linear arrangement. In the example you just saw, I'm generating the map by hand, but this is going to be done randomly, of course. Also notice that each cell has a distinct shape. It's either a linear path or a curve or an intersection. So that means each cell can have a different kind of behavior. Like one could be a boss battle, the other can be a one-way tunnel. What this means is that each tile can be also procedurally generated and it can be a more complex combination of a tunnel that can have different shapes and it can also be individually be filled with monsters as well. If you notice, none of these maps look alike because they are randomly generated. Now of course, each of these generated maps can be converted into an actual level by just replacing with the tile sets and combining them. So here is one example. If you want to explore these maps yourself, join my Discord server, the link is in the description. I'll let you know how to generate these kind of maps. If you enjoyed these videos, please give a like and consider subscribing. And thank you for watching. May you have a great weekend.